The Desert Kid Fox These desert specialists belong to the smallest fox species in North America. In California, they reside in the Mojave and Sonoran deserts. Vast expanses of creosote bush scrub dominates much of the California desert region, providing habitat for the desert tortoise, burrowing owl, Mojave fringe toad lizard, and the desert kit fox, among a number of amazing species. The vastness of the desert, however, doesn't give it immunity to disturbance by human activities. Agriculture, grazing, urbanization, energy development, military activity, and off-highway vehicles have been steadily encroaching on desert kit fox habitat. Large portions of habitat have already been lost, and even more remains vulnerable to development. In 2011, a desert kit fox was found dead on site at a solar energy project near the city of Blythe, California. More deaths followed. The foxes were dying from an outbreak of canine distemper, a viral disease that is often fatal to carnivores. Stress from being displaced by construction allowed the virus to spread among them. The origin of the outbreak remains unknown, but foxes continue to die up to 25 miles away from the site. In 2013, the California Fish and Game Commission rejected a petition to list the desert kit fox as threatened due to a lack of information on the species. They are still not protected either by state or federal law, unlike endangered San Joaquin kit foxes to the west of California who have dwindled due to habitat loss. Hi, I'm Vipika Kadaba, a graduate student at Duke University, and I'm leading the Desert Kit Fox Project. This summer, four biologists, including myself, will be studying desert kit foxes in the California desert. Our goal is to assess habitat occupancy, that is where kit foxes live and the ecological factors driving their decisions. We have several objectives, find desert kit fox dens, estimate the frequency of dens, and investigate how the landscape, vegetation, and prey species affects the presence of dens. So what's step one for finding a desert kit fox burrow? Send out a drone. Drones are autonomous aerial vehicles that can scan the desert floor much faster than a person could physically investigate it. There's 260,000 square miles of desert kit fox habitat in California. A drone would allow us to sweep over 200 square miles of it in one summer. Once we aerially spot a den on a plot, we will physically investigate the plot for the condition of the den, the type of vegetation, the small mammals and reptiles, and signs of human disturbance in and around the area. We will then repeat the physical surveys in plots where dens aren't found and compare the characteristics between them to try and answer why kit foxes choose to live in the places that they do. While the ecosystems they depend on are sensitive to development and degradation, all our methods are non-invasive, as kit foxes themselves are notoriously resistant to human presence and activity. We're also deploying track plate stations to record desert kit fox footprints, which in the future will form the basis for an identification algorithm for the species using a footprint identification technique, FIT, developed by WildTrack. This non-invasive technique is currently being used to identify endangered animals at the species, individual, age class, and sex levels. Which finally brings me to this crowdfunding campaign. This fundraiser helps us find survey, GPS, and tracking equipment. We're offering a lot of cool rewards for your contributions. Authentic track casts and plates, official project t-shirts, official photo prints, and if you sponsor a piece of equipment, we send it to you at the end of the project. So visit our page, share it around as much as you can, and thank you so much for watching and supporting the Desert Kit Fox Project.